Many emerging Latin American and Caribbean artists have used a small museum in the district to springboard their art careers. In the third installment of my series, we take you out to the Art Museum of the Americas, where you can become a tourist for the day. So at first you see this work is just all on canvas, but then uh, when you actually are handling the work, you realize that it's pretty heavy. Curator Adriano Spina is describing a painting on exhibit at a little-known museum in the district run by the Organization of American States. Fusion is a collection of abstract art by Asians who immigrated to North, Central, or South America, as well as the Caribbean. It's currently on display in the Art Museum of the Americas. These migrations happen uh, at the end of the 19th century, beginning uh, of the 20th century. Most of these people came as an inventory workers uh, to the Americas. After the abolition of slavery, it was very expensive to hire them back. So bringing this manpower from Asia was actually a pretty good solution. Uh, that at some point sounded good, but then uh, the conditions in that they came were pretty harsh. Those who stayed often immersed themselves into their new culture, enriching it with Asian elements, including mixing abstract art with calligraphy and elements of their new culture. Manabu Mabe is a Japanese artist who arrived in early um, 20th century to Brazil to work in a coffee plantation as an inventory worker, like many other of these uh, Japanese people coming to Brazil. So he worked in a coffee plantation and then uh, later on, he owned the coffee plantation, and then he sold the coffee plantation to devote himself to art. We usually think about Latin America as a Spanish migration who came here, and then the uh, African migration uh, who, who came here to work. And we never think about the other types of migration that happened, and actually has been undermined by history. The artists were often unknown outside of their communities until their works were displayed at the museum. Critics came here, we can see some of the press reviews in this wall, and this was what made them a little bit more famous. When they went back to their countries, they were able to actually become the masters that we know nowadays. And the museum is located on 1889 F Street Northwest in the district. For more information on future exhibits, you can log on to museum.oas.org.